Now, this is something I didn't know you could do. You can actually run up to these guys, harvest those little pod things, back off, let him blow up, go get another one, back off, let him blow up, and you can get a lot more oxygen off those plants than if you just outright kill them. So that's kind of a nice little thing to know. And welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to continue our Awakenings quest. We are in the process of getting our antimatter recipe, looking for the ship that uh, hopefully the quest will bring us, and hopefully it will be a good one, and getting to the anomaly. Those are kind of our main goals for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, consider sharing out the video and leave it a comment. All those things help the channel out and I greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. So, in the last episode, we just uh, landed and found this small settlement. Um, the beacon that we need to go to is just over the hill that way. It's only about 569 units, so we're just gonna hoof it over there. But, since we found this place, I wanted to, you know, come in and get all the nanites, uh, talk to our Viking buddies, and, uh, don't think we need to sell anything. Wait, do we need to sell anything? I don't think we do. Let's take a quick look. We're going to actually use that antimatter housing. That's going to come in handy. Uh, no, I don't think we really need to sell anything right now. I'm kind of not in selling mode. I'm in uh, following the quest and trying not to get distracted mode. Okay, did we already pick this thing up? I think we did, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's get some nanites from over here as well. You know, once we do get to the next... Oh, 60 nanites. That's good. Once we do get to the nexus... Um, and, you know, kind of get through all that, I am going to work on, you know, starting to upgrade, because I've got 2,000 nanites that I've been saving up. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're going to do some, some upgrades, mostly focusing on the suit, because the ship, we're not going to keep, you know, hopefully for too much longer. It's been a great ship. It's a Class B fighter, and we've blown up uh, lots of bad guys with it, but, you know, we're on for better, bigger and better things. Okay, uh, Technology Merchant Nog. I just want to look at your inventory really quick. How you doing there, buddy? Technology Merchant Nog's wares include blueprints and other stuff. Hum ba 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 interloper and Viking blah ba ba ba. Okay, uh, all the blueprints we've already bought, so they're the same no matter where you go. Uh, but I want to look at your components real quick. Okay, you've got a wiring loom, a salt refractor, a cobalt mirror, sodium diode, all that stuff we're going to need at some point. Um, so it's good to know that you have that. So this also gives us a, a planetary terminal that we can sell at too. So I think what I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to... Can we not like harvest plants anymore and beyond? I've noticed that doesn't seem to be a thing anymore. I don't know. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to set down our a beacon and we're going to leave it here. So that way we can always come back here if we want to take advantage of this particular station. And beacons are pretty cheap to make, so we're just going to put it right here. Well, actually, here, let's set it, put it on the ground right next to the landing pad. So we'll go into our build menu, hit the save beacon, and we're just going to pop it right down here. And we'll do a manual save while we're at it, and there we go. So, so now we can always come back to it, because that little star thing that you see there, we can see from space, all the way from space. And we'll just make another one of those the next time we need to use one. So, we've already done our save. Let's go back into here and let our thermal uh, recharge. We're also going to need to look for some oxygen while we're hoofing it. Alright, let's do this. We are heading for this direction. We'll stop and grab nanites out of the... Uh, out of those buildings along the way. It is hot on this planet, 146 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not, oh my God, hot, but it's hot enough to kill us if we didn't, if we weren't uh, prepared for it. Let's get our light on too. So yeah, as I mentioned in the last episode, it's Friday night when I'm recording this, uh, but uh, they just came out with an update for No Man's Sky, and I haven't read the patch notes, so I'm not exactly sure what all they fixed. But uh, you know, hopefully. Hopefully they've, they've fixed some issues. Like one, one issue that we have, I don't need that, is we can't remap our keys. So I was going to check and see if that's actually something they might have fixed. Let's look at that really quick. If we go to options, control options, uh, 
Wait a minute. I don't even see it at all. Normal. There's supposed to be another button down here to remap the keys. Do they move it? View controls. Uh, is it in general options? Hmm. I don't know. Alright, well, I guess we'll worry about that later. 58 nanites from that one. That's good. And however many more we got from that one. This... Can that... No, that's not a harvestable thing. Sometimes you can harvest those and get a little bit of rep with... With dudes. Okay, so let's head on over. Uh, let's do a scan for oxygen. We don't re need sodium so much, but we do need oxy. There's some up there. And some up there. And we can grab some off of this dude. Now, this is something I didn't know you could do. You can actually run up to these guys, harvest those little pod things, back off, let him blow up, go get another one, back off, let him blow up, and you can get a lot more oxygen off those plants than if you just outright kill them. So that's kind of a nice little thing to know. I don't know if I can get to his other node, though, because it's kind of buried in the rock there, so we're probably just going to have to kill him. Whoops. get his O2. We got a knowledge stone over there that we might uh, see if we can hit along the way. Ooh, wow, this is a big patch. Damn, okay. We just got a bunch of oxygen, guys. Let's start harvesting. Okay, beautiful. So that gave us a nice little supply of oxy. Almost a full stack, as a matter of fact. Okay, let's grab a pot off of you too, since it's easy for the getting. Oh shit. No, not that. This. Um, there we go. That kind of hurt a little bit. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, looks like it's just got the three there. You definitely don't want to get too close to that stuff, though, because it's uh, it's nasty. All right, let's take a quick look at the discoveries. I want to just see where I'm at in terms of the critters. Okay, so there's one more animal that we still need to discover here. And it's going to be on the surface, but it is a rare critter. Okay. Now, over here... It isn't you, is it? No. Um, over here, there was another oxygen plant. And there's also the knowledge stone, too, so we might as well grab it. Well, we're doing pretty good on die high, so I don't need to grab that for now. And those nasty plants are all over the place, aren't they? Okay, I think we're good on oxygen. I don't need to grab any more right now. Let's go hit this knowledge stone. Now, stay away from that guy. Oh, wait. No, these guys aren't mean on this planet. I mean, they won't attack on sight. Uh, where was that knowledge stone at? Uh, wasn't it right over here? Maybe I was thinking of that thing, which is not even on this planet. <laughs> All right, well, let's just keep moving towards the the quest goal, then. Yeah, there is a lot of those nasty, nasty puking plants. Good supplies of oxygen, though, if you're running low, that's for sure. Okay, this is uh, one of the mailing facilities, I believe. Unfortunately, I can't do the little melee attack trick in VR. At least I've never been able to get it to work. I'm going to try and farm these at some point, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I'll probably get myself killed. But uh, you, what you do is you can farm these little eggs and then process them for a bunch of nanites. But in the process of doing that, 
uh, these alien things will jump out and try and eat you, and they're really, really dangerous. Man, I gotta pay attention. Okay, let's check this. Nanites. All right, let's head on in here and see what this has to say. Kind of gross in here. Whoa! Cut that out. Are there any more of those? That's kind of remind kind of reminds me of Half Life. Remember those things in Half Life that would stick come out of the the ceiling and attack you? Got some ammo. Before we do the terminal, uh, let's go back down into this room. Anything gonna pop out of the ceiling and bite us? Nope, guess not. Okay, so we got another thing here. Come on. Oh. It's because I got that out. I was going to say, why can't I put my gun away? A microprocessor after we sold the ones we had. Lovely. Uh, that's the first aid. You know what? Let's just grab it because we're not coming back here anyway. If it'll let me. Hello? Hello? There we go. We're getting carbon. Okay, I think we've looted everything in here. Let's head back over to this part. Forsaken Terminal. Residual Goo. This stuff can also be turned into uh, nanites in the processor, but it takes several steps. Okay. Uh, terminal online. Selecting key. Decrypting. Success! The terminal is clogged with an unnerving, pulsating slime. Nevertheless, it appears to function. As I touch the input panel, the alien substance reacts violently. I make a note to avoid getting closer. The device opens, revealing a single unblinking crimson eye. It deposits a sample of antimatter accompanied by a strange message. Read log and take antimatter. You will find us when the time is right. Yeah, okay. 16, 16, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. There we go. Uh, antimatter housing and antimatter. Okay, well, we just happen to have an antimatter housing that we got from the wrecked freighter. So lucky us, huh? Use antimatter and antimatter housing to create a warp cell. Boom. Warp cell created. Look at us in our bad self. Okay, so we're going to head back outside. And we're going to go back towards our ship. I don't really want to mess around on this planet at the moment. Oh, you know what, though? Is it possible? No, I guess the, the critter that we need to scan, it said, was a, a base animal, which is a surface animal. How about before we take off, we do a, a manual save? That's probably a good idea. There's two kinds of saves. There's the manual saves, which you do here or at beacons, um, or with the portable save device. And then there's the auto saves, which happen when you're getting out of your ship and going through teleports and stuff. But of course, the auto saves can get overwritten. The manual saves do not get overwritten until you deliberately overwrite them. All right, we'll grab that sodium plant along the way. But, uh,. We're just going to head head right on back. Ooh, that's tempting. It's right there. We might as well grab it. That sucker is worth a lot of money, if nothing else, but I actually need those for upgrades anyway. Uh, what am I doing? I need to go here. I mean, you know, since it's right here, right? How many do we get? Four. Nice. Really nice. Yeah, I know that thermal protection is folding. We 
jetpack right on up the hill here. This is the planet that I actually started on. I haven't been out of the system yet, obviously, because I'm just now getting the warp fuel, but... Um... Yeah, I'm not worried about him. He won't bother me as long as I, he doesn't catch me doing anything I shouldn't be. And, of course, old guy never does things that he shouldn't. Who would even think that, you know? Do we got all these plants scanned? Nope. What's that? A subterranean relic? That's... A valuable thing, but I'm not. Nope, 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 nope. We're not squirreling, man. We're gonna stay on the quest. We are staying on the quest. No squirreling tonight. Well, maybe not too much anyway. Thermal protection is falling. Okay. Let's do a manual save here. And we're going to sell a couple of things here at the station and then we'll move along to the next part of the quest here. Oh, you know what? We never talked to this guy either, did we? Okay, we'll do that too. I forgot about that. We need to talk to him. See what he has to say. But, let's sell some stuff. So, I want to sell this. Um... You know, I mean, it's tempting. That's not going to give us a whole hell of a lot of nanites. It's going to take a long time, and it's taking up space in our inventory. I'm just going to sell it for now. Normally, I wouldn't do that, but we got to... You know, inventory space is like... Of the utmost importance. Four magnetized ferrite does not need to be taken up our inventory. We don't need these two microprocessors. Uh, anything in the ship that we... I don't think there's anything in here I want to sell. We want to keep all that. Okay. Alright, let's talk to this guy before we take off. I want to make sure that I have a little bit of room in my inventory. Okay, we can actually load up that in the, the ship. Let's do that right now. Well, that freed us up a slot. Um, guard... Eh, egg? Egg? Guard egg. Eggy? Hello, buddy. Um... The Viking stares unblinkingly, oblivious to my presence. Their muscular body sways rhythmically to some internal beat. He's jamming out. He's got earbuds in. An object in their hands glows hot, apparently t the material fo the material focus of their trance. It should say, apparently the material is the focus of their trance. Anyway, um, examine glowing object, take object, wake the Viking, or leave. He's unblinking, he's oblivious, he doesn't even know I'm here. He's in a, a trance and he's jamming out. An object in their hand glows hot, apparently the material it glows hot. Take object, wake him, examine. I don't know. I mean, who knows what the hell to do in these situations, right? I don't think I'm going to take it from him, but we might take a peek at it. The drone-shaped effigy is carved from a grayish stone, marbled with streaks of orange. In the space where the sentinel's crimson eye would be, the orange veins glow especially bright. The warrior becomes aware of my proximity, stirring from their trance. They watch me suspiciously. Um, well, okay. It was nice talking to you there, buddy. <laughs> That's the only thing we can do. Okay, I don't think we need to talk to him. I think we've done everything else we can do in here. But we do have the place marked. If we ever want to come back here. Mostly for access to that sales terminal. I have a feeling, though, we might never, ever come back to this system. I mean, there's only, you know, 15 quintillion other ones that we could visit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what is that? An ancient ruin. We should probably, because of the fact that we're not going to come back here, likely, we should probably check that stuff out before we leave. Uh, particularly the ancient rune, because that could have a pretty valuable artifact in it, I'm thinking. 
Let's do a manual save here. Okay. Let's take off and we're just going to look at... Um, okay, that's off planet. That's on this planet. And that's on the planet. Which one's closer? Three hours, five hours. Let's check out the distress beacon first. We'll do an Atmo jump here. Okay, so now the quest wants me to actually do our first warp, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. We will very soon, I promise. But we're not gonna do that quite yet. We wanna check out this distress beacon and I wanna check out the ancient ruin. Planet Nuga. It's my guess that Hacksaw named this planet Nuga. But he may not have. Maybe that's actually what the random gin named it. Nuga. I don't even remember exactly when I got this distress beacon. It's been uh, on my HUD for quite some time. Alright, what do we got here? That's a ship, you guys. That is a ship. The question is, is it a good ship? It looks pretty crazy. Let's check this thing out. It almost looks kind of like an exotic ship. Wouldn't that be nuts if we found an S-Class ship, like right now? <laughs> I'd be like, are you kidding me? Um, let's look at it. A Tamibo of Destruction. Uh, we should probably pay attention to that, too. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ah, shit. It's a Class C ship. Okay. Um... Nah. Nope. Nope. Not worth it. Not worth it. How much is it actually worth the... Um... 1.5 mil, but it would, uh, yeah, it'd be a pain in the butt to, to repair all that. So, okay, well, you win some, you lose some. Now we know. Let's go see if we can get something good out of this. Look at that cave in there. It's awesome. Bug me him. Oh, there goes the damn timer. Okay, we got 28 nanites off of that dude. That's not bad. That's not bad. Pure ferrite. We only need 15. So we'll farm up 15 of those. Oh man, look at those relics sitting right there for the taking. Okay, that's enough. What the hell? Did I did I already loot it? I must have already looted it. Sometimes that it kind of happens in in. Uh... Okay, well, whatever. Sure, let's turn the light on. Okay, so, um, guys, it's time for us to wrap up this episode. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Look at that cave. That is so damn cool. I love the caves. Look at all the color and everything in here. Beautiful. And there's even more vortex cubes. Oh, I don't have room for this. <laughs> I don't have room for this. We should really probably grab those. If nothing else, we can chuck the... Well, we can chuck the Vortex Cubes if we had to, because they're not worth that much money. 
But anyway, I'll do that off camera. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, consider sending out a uh, share of the video and a comment. Both those things help the channel quite a bit. I really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next episode where hopefully I'll quit screwing around and we can actually find the anomaly. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.